In this video, we're going to talk about the settings for the top part of a support. The top part refers to the part that has a cone shape and contacts the model surface. The top settings are divided into two sections, the contact settings and the connection settings. In the contact settings, you can change the contact shape. If you choose none, there will be no extra contact shape. The support will directly contact the model surface. If you select Sphere, there will be a ball-shaped contact. You can adjust the contact diameter to change the contact shape size. You can also change the contact depth. This decides how deep the contact part is buried into the model surface. Contact shape diameter and depth decides the contact area size between the model and the support structure and affect the integrity of the print. If the contact area is too small, the contact part may not be strong enough, so the supports or the contact parts may break away during printing. If the area is too big, it would be harder to remove the support structures. And after removal, you would see divots and raised marks on the surface, so you may need to do some extra work in post-processing. In the connection settings, you are also allowed to change its shape. The shape options include cone, pyramid, and skate. You can change the upper diameter, that is the diameter of the end closer to the model surface, and lower diameter, the end further away from the model. You can also adjust the connection length. This determines the length of the top part body. The size of this connection part can also affect the printing outcomes. If the diameters are set too small, the connection will be too thin, so it may be easier for your print to fail. If the connection is too thick, then it may be harder to remove the support structure. Also, the connection should not be too long. Otherwise, if the material is not strong enough, it will increase the risk of breaking away.